The Trading View screener tools now enable this chart view so that you can create highly custom and specific screens and then view all of the results as individual charts just like this that fit on your screen perfectly. Here's the thing, because it does get even better, there are some new options for you to understand as you create your screen. For example, depending on the monitor you have or the computer you use or the type of trader or investor you are, you can customize your look. So in this case, we can actually decide how many charts we want to view in our screen just by selecting the layout that we're looking for or the chart grid that we're looking for. So this is a four by two screen. Let's go ahead and select. And now, ladies and gentlemen, check that out. With one click, we have adapted and created our screen to show us four charts just like this. Four charts on the top, four charts on the bottom, all coming directly from our screen. And the best part is that if we scroll our mouse down, we can now breeze through hundreds, if not thousands of, of charts that are all relevant specifically to our screen. Here's the other important thing. You've got many different customization options because once you have selected the chart grid that works for you, you can also decide whether or not you want to view these charts as line charts, or maybe you prefer area charts because of the colors, the look and feel, or perhaps you actually prefer to see candlestick charts. So now you can see all of the candlesticks, the open, high, low, and close for all of the charts that you've screened for. By the way, never forget that if you are a short-term trader, you can see all these charts as a one-day chart. But perhaps you wanna see something a little bit longer term, so go to six months, and now every chart that you see from your screen is set to six months. So you can see, we go back six months, there's the start, all the way up to the current price point. So you can customize all of this now on the screener. Now, for those of you who still don't know how we got here, we just wanna remind you that the screeners can be found at the top in the products menu on tradingview.com. Then it says screeners, then go ahead and select the asset class that you are interested in. In this case, we're going to click stocks. That's what we are, after all, using this tutorial for. Now, once you have your screen set up, you've got some options here. Everything, by default, is set to a table view, but the all-new chart view can be accessed just simply by clicking the chart view icon. Then, as we just demonstrated, you have the capability to customize all of the charts that you want to see in this view. Keep in mind that by default, it's set to auto. That means the TradingView platform is going to instantly recognize and serve you the charts that you should see depending on your zoom, screen size, and computer. But if you'd like to choose something different, well, go ahead and make something custom and then let the screener create that layout for you just like that. We're going to go back to auto quickly because for this final example, as we wrap up this tutorial video, we just want to remind you of how we even got here and what it means. Now, we have tons of videos on our YouTube channel about the, sc the screener tools, and our help center also walks you through these tools as well. For example, once we're on the stock screener, we can create a custom screen to locate specific stocks that fit our exact filters. For example, let's only look at companies with a market cap of 200 billion and above. Well, we can do that just by clicking the market cap button and then selecting our filter. Now, if we go back to our table view here, we can see there are 92 companies that have a market cap of 200 billion and above. If we reset this, so now we're just screening all stocks, we can see that we have access to 13,875 symbols. So with each filter that you add to your screen, ideally you are going to narrow down your list to find the symbols specifically for you. Next up, we're going to narrow this down even more because we're going to say show us all of these large cap companies also only if they have a PE ratio of 15 and below. So now we're down to 36 symbols. So you can start to see why the stock screener is very effective and you can save your screens as well by clicking save. If you're looking for a way to get started quickly with your screens, well, you can see that you can click this drop down. You can get access to some key settings like saving, renaming, exporting, or creating a new screen entirely. There's also some popular screens here as well in the drop down. So, we'll, so what we can do here is click highest net income. This means we want to see the stocks with the most net income, market cap over 10 billion. There's Apple leading the way. But now once we have created our screen fully custom just to our needs, 
This is where chart view comes in. And then of course, this is where chart grid can be accessed and all of the other capabilities that allow you to locate stocks that are moving in a way you want. Now, another key thing is just to think about why this matters. Obviously, you want to be able to see these key metrics for every single company on your screen. As you can see, we got its overview, performance, extended hours, valuation, dividends, profitability and income statement. So there's a lot of data here that we can sort by. Then we can use these the, these tables here to sort specifically by them. In this case, as you can see, we're sorting by net income, the most of. But the one thing that unlocks here with the all new chart view is that now we can also see this key data in accordance with the price action and the charts that you have known and come to love on TradingView. In addition, you get the capability to create the custom look and feel that you are looking to access. So the choice is yours at what type of custom layout you want to create. But obviously, the more charts you see, the more charts you can scan and screen as you scroll down within the screen that you've made. So what's so fascinating here is we have probably already screened just by scrolling down like that, well close to 50 stocks, if not more. And that is something you can do as well to, you know, make your life easier as a trader. This is a tool you're going to want to master because you can set up your screen, change it to your chart view, create your own chart grid, and then of course, adapt that to your screen as needed, create the type of charts that you want to look at, and then instantly find tra trades and trends and price action and movement that matters to you and your strategy. So thanks so much for watching and we hope this video helps you get started with our screener. As mentioned, subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch our other screener videos to get some education on how they work, and be sure to also check out our Help Center for more.